to be your last Thursday. Make sure you reach out to our social media handle that is at Y254 channel on YouTube and catch up with what Barry had to say and discuss pertaining music with the one and only K Force. But today on studio, the only the only six chord I resonate with it's an instrument. It's it has to do with an instrument. But today I am surprised that there is an artist known as six code but you'll be telling us how he came up with that name all the way from kiambu county these are the dumbbells <laughs> six code yes bless up the uh, use camera four introduce yourself and tell us where you come from uh first of all thank you for having me uh i go by the name of six six major um tani kiambu kirigiti nika ushago ushago kiasi uh, so my people, uh, we've made it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to up. Mama, you made it. Uh, Tell Mama that you uh, made it. Apana, uh, uh, Mama, see what? No, but uh, uh, you'll be telling us <laughs> why you feel like uh, you cannot. Why Mom is not like? I want to know if Mom really supports right now because when you start off. Uh, you told me something about lack of support when starting off. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us uh, where the musical journey all started. Where did rap, the love for rap, come from? Uh, well, uh, I grew up in a family of people who loved music. Mm -hmm. So constantly I could listen to a lot of Tupac, a lot of B.I.G., a lot of Rakim, the old guys, because uh, of the sibling influence that I had when I was growing up. So I, act I actually started out as a poet. Started out as a, as a, a poet. poet? yes. That's very unique, but it's not surprising because STL also started off as a poet, and she's talking about fusing poetry and mm. rap to come up with, you know, good music. Yeah. Mm. My type of poetry, though, was more mm. the rhyme type of poetry, where you have um, a lot of words put together that actually sound the same. It didn't make sense particularly at that time, but on doing it repeatedly,